In this video, I'd like to talk about the concept of batching when it comes to creating content and I guess doing anything in life. The concept of batching works really well. It's something that I'm applying to my videos and it's something I recommend you do as well. In terms of content creation, what batching means is creating a whole bunch of videos in one go. For example, right now I'm out here filming and I'm actually creating about four or five different videos that I can then go and edit. So instead of shooting one video and then going to edit it and uploading it and doing that five times by batching it, I can obviously save a lot of time and also energy. And the thing is, once you get into the flow of things, like right now I'm recording and I'm making good progress, like I can get a lot done by recording a batch of videos and then processing them and then uploading them and scheduling them to be published. The same works with writing. If you have got, if you're writing a book, if you're writing blog posts, set specific times to write and just write whatever comes to mind. And in that time, it doesn't matter if you've written one blog post or five blog posts. Like just write as much as you can, get it down onto paper and then have another session where you'll edit those five blog posts. Instead of, again, writing one blog post and once you've written it, you immediately go on to editing. Or the other one is coming up with ideas. If you need ideas for, for content, sit down and just batch write them. Take note of when you get into the flow, because when you get into the flow, then you should just keep going. You shouldn't interrupt yourself. So whether it's generating ideas, writing, recording. The other thing that I think of is cooking. Sometimes if you cook a bigger portion of a meal, you know, you can put the rest in the fridge and have it for lunch the next day. I know some people will prepare meals for the entire week and then freeze them and reheat them. And by doing that, you do save a lot of time. You can really apply this concept to a lot of different things. And it definitely makes such a big difference because you'll be surprised how much energy you spend if you do items individually. Keep that in mind when you are, you know, creating or cooking or baking, <laughs> whatever it is that you apply this to. Keep that in mind, the concept of batching, and you'll see that you'll save yourself a lot of time. That's it for this video. I just wanted to share that idea with you, the idea of batching, and that people use it really effectively. So yeah, try it out and see how it can help you. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm always happy to answer. I might turn your question into a video. And yeah, appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. I'll chat to you soon. Awesome. Cheers.